Andrew McGatton here for Severe MMA, standing alongside Tom Breeze ahead of UFC Dublin. Tom, you were one of the first guys I heard you say it there over at TriStar. Uh, the story was you went over for a bit of training, you impressed so much, and you were asked to stay on and help George for his camp. What's it been like since then for you to be the first guy over there? You see all the Europeans coming over since. Yeah, it's been great. You know, um, I've been there for a while and I've, I've developed a lot, and uh, and see the European guys coming. It's it's been great as well because you know we have a lot in common, and you know we're we're all away from home. We all stay in the dorm, so it's it's definitely a big help, and it, it makes it life more entertaining outside of training. This is the fight, you and Cahill Pendred. I've been saying it for weeks. People wanted to see this fight on the domestic circuit for years. Yeah. So many people said Tom Breeze is the one to beat Cahill Pendred. So many people said Cahill Pendred is the one to beat Tom Breeze. Do you think it's fitting that now you're on the biggest stage having this fight as opposed to maybe in front of one or 2,000 people in the UK somewhere? Yeah, definitely, you know, and uh, I think it's a, a much bigger fight than people are giving, uh, giving it credit for. You know, I'm an undefeated fighter, eight, uh, eight wins, eight finishes, you know. Carl's a 4-1 in the UFC, former Cage Warriors world champion. I think it's, I think it's a, a big fight and, um, you know, uh, I think the fans definitely should watch. When it comes to stuff like that, though, you have so many finishes. Carl has seemed unfinishable so far throughout his UFC career. Is that dynamic going to change on Saturday? Definitely, you know, he's been finished before, he's been knocked out before, he's been submitted before, so, you know, um, and he's, he's been close to happening in the UFC, but, you know, his, his will to win and his beliefs stayed in there, but I think technically I'm stronger than any other guys he's fought, so, you know, but I'm just going to get in there and do what I'm trying to do. Do you think a win puts you in a better position coming into the hometown guy's territory and uh, he's going to have a lot of support, go maybe 9-0 and with another finish on your record? That, you're going to be a hot prospect. You know, people are going to want to see you matched up maybe top 15 guys. Definitely, you know, um, that's why I wanted the fight, you know. Uh, Carl's a, a big name and uh, he's going gonna, he's gonna to get my name out there a lot more. And then finally, if we're looking at this, Joseph Duffy unfortunately had to pull out of the fight last night. Uh, were you there when it happened? Was it an accident sparring? Because people are raising questions. What's a guy doing sparring the week before his fight? You know, it, 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 I was sparring at the time myself. Um, we always spar one week out from a fight. Um, and, uh, you know, it's was it Sage? We're thinking it was Sage that did it to him. He wanted to get this fight. He knocked him out. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a contact sport and, and, and that happens, you know. You know, accidents happen and that's what happened. Thanks very much.